there was a situation in Dublin. What should I say more? Um, there was a altercation where some guys, for some for whatever reason, thought that it would be a good idea to tell a group of other guys to check in. I think you was in that group of other guys. What was your mind? What was your mind frame like when two random Irish talking guys decided to say, "Why have you not checked in with us?" You know, it is broski. At first, <laughs> I didn't even see them. You know, I didn't oh. even see them. So, okay, man's. We finished the show. Got back to the hotel, hopped out the car, walking in the hotel. Obviously, Clav said someone was calling the minute, but I didn't hear it. And he heard it. I didn't hear it. Yeah. So just walking in, walking in. But then the security guards come and he's basically saying he's got to check who's staying here from who's not. You got it? Yeah. Cool. But they're behind us. So at this point, we're stationary, you get it. So man's looking around, blah, blah, blah. Now I can see them. But I still don't know nothing. You get it? You don't know who they are. But then as we've walked in, they're trying to walk in. Oh, so it's looking a bit weird now. And Clav's manager's basically clocked what's going on and basically said like, right, I think these lot tried to tell the security guard that they're staying in a room number because he was checking room numbers. Yeah. But I think these lot must have said a room number that don't exist. You get oh, it? Because okay. they said we're staying on the third floor, blah, blah, blah. But the third floor is reception. Yeah. You get it? So you can't be staying on the third floor. Yeah. So Clav's manager's clocked that and basically said like, right, what are you lot on? Type of thing. And obviously the same, we just want to chat to Clav, we just want to chat to Clav. But me and Clav already walked in by this point. But we can hear them saying they want to chat to Clav now. So obviously we just turn around now like and gone back. And obviously my man's just saying like, well, obviously I just want to chat to you. I just want to chat to you. Like we didn't come, we didn't come for beef, but. They're saying all the wrong words. You didn't, you didn't, I don't want to chat to you. Like. They're saying we didn't come for beef, but obviously when you come to Ireland, you, you got to check in with Amanda or something like that. You all get All of a sudden, all of a sudden. But obviously Clav was playing it a bit cool. Kaya. He was just thinking, eh, calm, calm, calm. Like, he, he got the situation under control, you get? Yeah. Playing it cool, playing it cool. But then one of the mandems clocked that. They're trying to record the mandem. Oh, they're you get? So that. they're acting like they're, they're coming on a, a peaceful thing. Yeah. But really, they're, they're trying, trying to, to get some clout, yeah. you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once the mandem clocked that. Vibe switched, yeah. Yeah. Vibe switched. I saw a figure um, that looked like you. I'm not sure if it was you. He was... um. He was swinging, like, I don't know if it was you, but he was swinging. Like, no, that weren't me. It weren't you. I didn't think it was you at all. But it <laughs> <laughs> um, doesn't happen Doesn't happen a lot because when you have clout, you said you have clout from, from like, time. Yeah, yeah. Like, hasn't anyone tried to not check you and like that, but get a reaction out of you? That's weird. That like, If you were a normal person, you, you know this wouldn't be happening. Uh, not with me to be honest no I've never been in a situation where I'm out and someone's tried to style me or yeah. like test my gangster or something no never yeah. but you know what it is though I move correct yeah I see you got your entourage obviously I'm not well. saying that it can't happen to you even if you move correct 100%. but I move correct like if I know that I'm going to a certain place where it's likely to be I'm likely to be in an open space with bare people yeah. I move correct I yeah. step correct you get it and Safe, not sorry. chances are if you're by yourself, like say I'm in a the a decent place and I bump into someone on their own, chances are they're not really gonna so do that, you get But yeah, that's never happened to me still. Hundred percent. We can tell you tep, step correct door car. Yeah, he's got, got his fifteen man. He's got his entourage <laughs> here still. They, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they're, on, they're, on, they're on good vibes, they're on peaceful yeah, vibes, man. but if I saw them out in the street, I wouldn't wanna <laughs> no. it wouldn't be smart. So how do you how do you move when how do you move when you're out? You said you barely go out, like you're more the inside person. No, you know what it is. I don't want to. I don't like to be one of them people that are easily accessible. Yeah, you get it, like you can't bank on me being somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like oh, Tate this Friday. I know them man are gonna be the annoying. Yeah, yeah, Not, yeah, yeah. They could, no one can plan your. No schedule. one can yeah. try and plan yeah, my schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. So I'm, I'm either on holiday or when I am stepping out, you'll step correct. You'll see me out. Don't get <laughs> twisted. Like I'm not hiding from the world. Like I'm out here, but I only go somewhere when I know that I'm going there comfortably. You get it? Yeah, 100%.
Hundred percent. That's the best way to be. Met met money mean doing all occasions. Don't ever get a twist so you get laid. I know the bait and my nigga knows that I'm a gangster.